Welcome to your Daily Smash for Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. And Harry's back there. Are you doing dishes? Uh -huh. He's doing everything. I know. I think the last time when you guys were at my, my place in Tampa, I was in the background doing dishes. You were. <laughs> you were. You were going back and forth. And people were like, what's Harry doing back there? Harry worked. We Well, we did it together, but he did most of it. We worked two days straight, right? Making mm -hmm. beef wellington. Like this sit over here, Harry. Harry, sit right here. Let me sit. I don't, I sit right sit. here. Sit far up. Sit, sit, here, right sit here. Up. You want to sit up high or you want to sit down low? I'll just be like this. I'll just pop out right behind Rick. <laughs> Why don't you sit right Wait. here? Okay. No? Uh, the Beef Wellington was a huge... We just had, had hosted our first dinner party here at our new house. and With, a, bro with a broken... Um, Dishwasher. <laughs> yes, yeah. we just hand washed everything. <laughs> the entire kitchen. The whole kitchen. <laughs> Legit the whole kitchen. Rolling pins, uh, sheet pans, um, little crafts. I mean, the, the knives, the forks. The, the knives, the forks. The, only the, broke one glass. The uh -huh. Pyrex, the, I mean. Can we charge the landlord for the glass that we broke since the dishwasher isn't working? I think we should get this whole month for free. <laughs> I'm not hey, joking. Hey, we're in California. Everything's for free yeah. here. Yeah, everything's for free here. But your Beef Wellington was a huge hit. It was great. It was It was definitely a when success. You, when day. you ate your own creation, did you have any regret? Like, oh, I should have done this differently. Oh, I'm always critical of my own cooking. Are I you? really am. I would judge it. Like so what, what would you have changed? Um, I would have liked to spend more preparation on the pastry part of it. Um, I think that's because that's a delicate process in it, and it needs a, a little well, more attention. I I'm um, no I'm no <laughs> I'm no culinary connoisseur. Yeah, thank you. But that pastry I thought was terrific. It was. Yeah. It did. It turned out perfect. And then because two of the Wellingtons went into the oven, I think it needed a little more um, time because of the chemistry. The baking chemistry was off in there with two we of them. Two, because we had yeah. there, two. So we, because it didn't cook. I wouldn't say cook evenly. It just needed a little more time uh -huh. for, you know, like... At a lights. lower heat? Yeah. yeah. So Lower heat, more yeah, time? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, lower heat, a little more time. That way it's, it's it's cooked a little more through. What about you, babe? Well, I think putting the two in... Well, what happened was <laughs> my friend Linda D'Alessio and her boyfriend Adolfo, it was her birthday, so I mm -hmm. thought we would do a birthday dinner for her here. And she's so sweet. She was like, we used to talk every morning together. She started crying. It was like... Aww. She's so sweet. She is. And um, I said, you know, I invited her over for dinner. And then my friend Coral and Frank uh, came. And I'm like, I don't think we have enough for mm -hmm. that $101 thing, right? <laughs> so we were at the Mercado today. The Super Mercado. Super oh. Mercado. <laughs> Rick <laughs> drops me off. He goes to Home Depot. So right in Costa Mesa, there's a Home a Home Depot, a Home Goods, and the Mercado. I showed you guys the Mercado. Did you like the Mercado? Yes, I did. Loved it. The meats and everything there are all prime, and they're what fourteen dollars. We showed. Yeah, well, did, we, we, didn't we show our smashers yeah. the Mercado already? Yeah. We did that whole. Yeah, it was. Tour it was fourteen. It was, no, it was like it was fifteen ninety nine or whatever a pound? For, for a pound for instead of prime, fifty. Yeah, for a prime tenderloin, got a two pound piece. Yeah. Just exactly almost identical to the uh, one but from the But you could tell a difference. But you could tell a difference, yeah. yeah. yeah because yeah. it's more t marbleized. Before and, we go any further yeah. on that story, I do want to uh, remind people that Ilya Wine sponsors our Daily Smash. You want to show them the bottle? It's right mm -hmm. behind you. And you can get your Ilya Wine with free shipping. It won't cost you a single penny more if you buy three or more bottles. Ship right to your front door. Designed in New York, but made in Spain. The Spanish Wait, race. we had this last night. Can you tell them how great this was? Oh, it's delicious. Delicious. Oh, you drank speaking of which, yeah. I have video because because we stopped drinking for Lent, as you may know. But Sunday, we're allowed to drink. So this is what we recorded. It went down quick and beautifully. Mm -hmm. Check this out. So Kelly decided to quit drinking for Lent. Kind of sucks. It does. It sucks. <laughs> but when we you know hit Sunday, we can't, we're allowed to drink. Yeah. And our first go-to... Is our Ilya wine? We love it so much. This is our first go-to. This is our first preference. And when we drink it, <laughs> everything just goes away. This is the Roble Red, which is amazing. Yes, it is. They have uh, a wide variety of 
amazing wines made from Spanish grapes, highly rated, and you buy three bottles, you get free shipping. So wherever you live, as long as they ship there, you'll get it for free if you buy three or more bottles. And you know what? I've been buying a lot of stuff around this house. People are charging for shipping. Shipping is very expensive. We're spending $300 for somebody to, something to come here. So yeah. free shipping is a deal, especially coming from Spain. We can promise you, you're going to love your Ilia wine. And you'll be supporting a small business. So go ahead and get some. Yeah. And Layla Joy Williams has such great taste and style. And when I say taste... This tastes great. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers my love. Cheers, my baby. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Uh as I mentioned, three bottles or more, you get free shipping. And it, with every order, you're automatically entered in a contest to win a year-long subscription to the wine club. In which case, if you win, you'll get free wine every month. Would they also have a candle? Will you show them the candle? Don't you love a scent? It, it's 100% organic. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. Isn't that great? Yeah, like edible. Is it? <laughs> it smells really good. It's cognac, it? clove, rolled in Tabasco musk. Rich oak blended with cognac and clove rolled in Tabasco musk. That is a, in collaboration with a fragrance team in New York. It was Layla Joy Williams' creation, the creator of Ilia Wine. I love that tobacco yeah. smell. She also and makes a non-alcoholic uh, white and rosé sparkling collection. I, I wish we had those ourselves. We like, should be drinking that right Layla, now, Layla Joy. On. I gave her our address today, actually, so we're going to be getting some very this soon. This smells so good, doesn't it? We encourage you to I try. I need to come out with a, a candle line. I think you should. We encourage you to try your Ilya wine and try the Ilya candle. We know you're, you're going to love it. Here, smell my fingers. So can I tell my uh, hit by a car story today? Meanwhile, Rick, um, Harry and I were at the Mercado uh -huh. to, having samples. <laughs> oh, you were eating samples yeah, we in were, there? We were finding every, every sample. We <laughs> <could find. laughs> you know what? You guys were in there having a great time eating, <laughs> drinking. I'm at Home Depot by myself struggling with these two giant boxes of hanging shelves for the garage, loading them up on the car. Rick, yo, and he goes, there's big, huge pinatas. And Harry goes, let's get a pinata. Oh, and we'll have an adult, like, birthday pinata bash where you put, like, the little airplane bottles inside. The little airplane alcohol bottles? Oh, yeah. And we can have a totally adult party. Yeah. But how do you keep them from breaking when you break the pinata? We have to put, like, a little cloth down. Yeah. A little blanket on the little floor? Blanket. Yeah. So I, So I, myself, bring these giant boxes out to the truck, load them into the truck bed, get in the truck. Kelly calls me. I'm like, okay, I'm coming to pick you up right now at the Mercado. I put it in reverse, I'm backing up, and I see this guy behind me in the Audi backing up at the same time I am, like right behind me. So I stop, expecting him to also stop, and then we're going to figure out who goes next. He keeps coming. I lay on the horn, like, he just keeps coming, and bam, right into my bumper. Hard enough to do damage to my brand new Dodge Ram bumper. And I get out of the car, and I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? I'm all mad. He goes, uh... I'm like, you hit me. He goes, I think you hit me. And I go, I absolutely did not hit you. I stopped. You kept going and hit me. I laid on the horn. He goes, I didn't hear the horn. And I look, and there's a guy walking towards us <laughs> who saw the whole thing. And he goes, actually, uh, he did stop, and you didn't, talking to the guy. I go, do you mind if I get this on camera? And I recorded him, the witness, repeating what he saw, which was, I stopped, the guy hit me. And now the insurance claim is underway. Meanwhile, after having all those samples at the yeah. Mercado, <laughs> I'm like, where are you? And here's Harry and I are in our like in our cart, <laughs> in our shopping cart. And we're going to, he's like, meet me at the Meet me at the, what was it? The Home Depot parking lot. At the, by the garden center. No, the garden I'm center. By the garden I'm at the center. garden center. I'm like, some guy just hit me. I'm like, he's, and we're going, I'm like, I'm like, at the garden, I go, this is exactly why we need to have dash cams. Yeah. Yeah. We asked to be promoting. Uh, someone came to us. There was an issue with that particular mod version of it. They came to us and they said, hey, can you try to um, uh, sell these dash cams for us? Mm -hmm. Rick got the dash cam, had a hard time figuring it out, and he didn't like it. And he's like, I'm sorry, I can't promote something I don't like. Wait, did I say it like that? Kind of. <laughs> well, no, because I think that is a feather in our cap. We're not going to promote a product that we don't believe in.
That's why we promote. I thought that Polio dash cam that you had in there was pretty badass. Well, it wasn't. Okay, it wasn't user friendly. It came with zero instructions, and I complained to them about it. They're like, "Oh, we're sorry. It's the uh, the European version is supposed to have X Y Z." I'm like, I can't sell this to someone and say I'm endorsing this camera when you do it doesn't even come with instructions. The wires weren't long enough. It was just it was a problem. So we're not doing that one. But if you know someone with a top quality dash cam product, I'm happy to yeah. try it out, and, and then if I like it, endorse it. You gotta get one with the, back, the front and rear. Yeah, too, that's so, the one. Yeah. Wait, that's the one they gave us. Yeah. But well, Rick didn't like how it went in the rear, uh, uh, the, in the rear, the rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah, Rick didn't like that. It was like a clip on to the rear view, but it didn't fully cover the rear view, and it was awkward. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't up to my standards. The reason I brought up the Beef Wellington though was because the full video of Cooking with Kelly and Harry will be on this week's Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. We're going to do the whole video. You're going to see how Harry and Kelly made the Beef Wellington. It is not easy. No. Yeah. And then the recipe to follow. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll include the recipe. Yeah. Did you, um, by chance, do the Zoom meeting for Jill Zarin? Did you um, I haven't that? sent them the email yet. I can do that tomorrow. Today okay. was a little nuts. Oh, God. Today was... Insane. Was it insane? insane? Mm -hmm. Like from insane. the time we woke up to now. Yeah. Yeah. It, didn't, get, didn't get to the gym. Didn't get a lot done. We didn't get. No, we cooked all yeah. day. <laughs> it, it was a serious thing. Well, we cooked. Uh, got an I, accident. We shopped. We got. I got hit. I also had to compose an email uh, that was very lengthy. You were boxing a lot of stuff. I was also live on Newsmax today. You also boxed 50 orders? I Oh, I boxed up. 20 at least 22 orders of pickleballs and paddles we are now down to the final case of pickleball paddles that we're selling two for one rickkellyshow.com pickleball paddles two for one pickleball boxers three for one i wasn't even going to talk about it on this particular show because i was so busy boxing them up today i needed a break i'm serious i had to go to staples and buy more boxes and the and boxes I, are more than oh how about this I, the boxes are not cheap but at this point i'm just like okay we're going to sell the rest of these paddles i, I don't mind paying a buck fifty a box to, to to box up the paddles but i went in the garage because we had a stack of orders and I couldn't find the final box of paddles. And I was like, did I screw up? Do we only have one box of paddles left? It's a mess in that garage. I mean, it's a disaster in there, but it won't be for long. We because have Harry. Harry's going to help me <laughs> hang those shelves <laughs> that I brought at Home Depot. <laughs> Honey, it was at the bottom of like four things I finally found. It's the final box yeah. of Pickleball Party Town paddles. The final box that you can have. You, it's a collector's item. And in fact, you know what I meant to tell people? If you want us to autograph those paddles. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm not going. No, I'm already slammed. God. I'll, uh, Are you I'll kidding? <laughs> so tomorrow, we're, we're still, we're, we've done a lot of unpacking and getting settled. We're almost there. Tomorrow, the HVAC guy is coming back to examine the situation and get started, I hope, on replacing the We HVAC. wanted our guys to come, okay? Our guys are freaking bomb, okay? Yeah. Keith Flores. Uh, He's awesome. What, what, what's the name it's, of the... Uh, uh, HG. 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 If you guys need anything like cleaning of your vents, air conditioning, anything, he did our house in Palm Desert. He's here in Newport Beach. The best. Keith, Keith Flores. Yeah. Amazing. Terrific. And I We I, told them yeah. these property managers are complete morons. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, the other person who's coming tomorrow is uh, a I guess a plumber. They're replacing the toilet in the master bath. We're getting a brand new toilet. Or shall I call it a throne? So can I can I just tell a story really quick? Because people course. like my stories. Mm -hmm. So we were on um on uh on Jeff Lewis live and and we on did Friday? that on Friday and we did the after show and I was talking about Elizabeth Vargas and how much of a cuckoo bird she is and and Aldi was my neighbor and my two girlfriends wait you're not gonna tell no that I am story. gonna do the story because you can't lie for the truth no 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 don't honey don't Why tell not? that story here don't tell that story Why not? I, I, it's it just, hilarious no if you want to hear that story you can go to Patreon but don't don't tell that story here okay it's not appropriate 
I don't want to do that. It's not appropriate? No. Okay. I thought you were going to tell a different story. Oh, it's <laughs> a good story. a story that doesn't involve yeah. that because, because otherwise... Because what, what happens if you go to court and they say, drop your drawers? I did, and then, okay, and now you, you know lie. the, the yeah. gist of the story. I don't want to go there again. Please, honey. Okay, please, fine. Please. We're, it's not we're, appropriate. We're having a good time here. I don't want to bring it down with... It's a, not bringing it down. I'm just saying. What no, happens... No, don't say anymore. Please. Please. Oh, God. I beg you. See, I'm going to have to edit it out. Edit it out? Don't edit anything out. This is live here. Good job hosting the dinner party. Yeah. Thanks, God, for, for cooking and showing me how yeah, to make thanks that. Thanks for that beef wellington. I mean, I'm telling you, this guy was working, all, both of them, all, uh -huh. the mushrooms, just chopping the mushrooms yeah. alone. Yeah. You know what? Here's a, little, here's a little tease. Here's a little taste of the beef wellington prep. Love you. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I've never seen so many mushrooms in my life. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> This is, like required this is labor intensive here. Yeah. Wow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the port wine reduction or the, what's called the Wellington sauce. Like this. And then we're just going to take the puff pastry, lay it over it, put some egg wash on it so it sticks. Like that. How many hours do you think you guys spent working on it? Total? I say 10, maybe 15 hours. 15 hours. Well, it was all day to day yeah, and all day all and, today, and, yeah. and all last Waiting. night. Yeah. Going back because you really have to think about it too. So you just, you spent, and, and we did you last spent night. enough time thinking about it too as you're. Was it stressing so, you out a little bit? Yeah. It did. Yeah. I mean, you know. It stressed it, me out. It did. It was about, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what did we eat at we like eight? No, we, we started, yeah. we started chopping yeah. yesterday at six o'clock. Yeah. And it's 1030 at night on Monday night. Yeah. Ten, I couldn't believe how many mushrooms. And we mushrooms. just finished. Yeah. I couldn't believe how many mushrooms. And it was all day today, by the way. Yeah. yeah. It was all like, day. it was nonstop. We yeah. were on our feet all day. Yeah. Well, the, good the ideal, ideal time is like 72 hours if you want to do it right. It takes about, it's like really a, ideally a three day bender. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you, I, you know, it's a, it's an appreciation for people that cook really. Yeah. I mean, when you see those cooks, those line cooks at a restaurant, it is pretty exhausting. It's yeah. pretty hard on your body. You're standing up, you're chopped. It's, I mean, it's, there's a yeah. lot of work and mm -hmm. preparation yeah. and thinking. It's stressful. I mean, you don't think about what goes, what entails to have a, a great meal, honestly. Well, yeah. I'll tell you this. I can understand now why Beef Wellington would be as expensive as it is in fine restaurants based on the prep yeah. that's required to make it. It's, mm -hmm. it's very involved. Yeah. So you can get the whole thing, the whole video on the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. In the news now. In the news. Alexis Bellino and John Jansen tease that an engagement is on the horizon. You know what? Those two are perfectly matched for each other. <laughs> you know, they really are. How so? They kind of look alike. You know, they're tall and lanky. Uh-huh. Um, you know, they... they they, cut from the same cloth? They, they're cut from the same cloth. The reality TV couple teased that an engagement is on the horizon while speaking exclusively to Page Six's virtual reality podcast Sunday at DirecTV's Streaming with the Stars party at Spago Beverly Hills. Why weren't we invited to that? What, what, where was that? Spago and Beverly Hills with some Academy Awards party. Here's a quote from John Jansen, who's 61. He said, I cannot picture my life without her. That's what he said about uh, uh, Shannon as well. He's they, dated all of my Christine Rush. He's dated all my friends here. He, the, he, is something else. That guy. Bellino, for her part, suspects that her boyfriend will get down on one knee in the in the near future. I think probably she said with a bright smile, suggesting that the pair has discussed marriage. As for a televised wedding, the lovebirds seem keen on giving fans a glimpse at the lead up to their hypothetical I do's, even if they're not sold on the idea of letting cameras inside said ceremony. I mean, we're she, not she airing told, it she, probably. I have a text message from her saying that she would not go back to the show. Believe you and me. I have it. I brought it to you guys. I'm not going to do the show. I'm so full of shit. <laughs> they're, 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 they're cut from the same cloth. Those, <laughs> they even look alike. Well... Congratulations to you both for potentially maybe getting engaged in the sometime near future. Good luck with that. Both of you. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>
And that's our Daily Smash for this Tuesday. Wednesday. Yes. Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Friday. It's Monday. One day of the week. <laughs> it's that day that ends in Y. Taco uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. Have a taco. It's Monday. No, that's what, that's well, for them, it's Tuesday. Now, but for <laughs> hey, Tuesday. it's almost Tuesday. It's um, yes. it's ten thirty. We're on the brink of Tuesday. All right, I gotta edit this and edit our. Uh, it's gonna be Tuesday. I get it, I get it now. Duh. Way to spoil it, Harry. Spoiler. Way to smash that. Uh, what do you call it? Smash facade. the facade. You, you smash the facade. Well, well, we had smash. to we had to kick the people that were out of here today. Oh yeah. Like, no, I'm good at that. Oh, Rick's <laughs> like, like, time to wrap it up. We gotta go. Like, well, we got so rude. <laughs> like so rude. No, I was like, we gotta record our podcast. Sorry, guys. We gotta, gotta go. go. Gotta they would have stayed here all night. Yeah. 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 Well, because they were high, comfortable. We we were very good yeah. hosts. We provided them with food and drink and cake mm -hmm. for dessert. Oh, we could we had tres leches yeah. right there. How yeah. good is this thing? It came, from the Mercado. <laughs> it came from the Mercado. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that piece of chocolate right there. Look how yummy oh, I can see this and just going scrumptious. Everywhere. If you guys are from the um, Orange County area, you have to get a Tres Leches from the Mercado in Costa Mesa. Highly recommend it. I mean, delish. Mm. Have a mm. smash tastic day, everybody. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. How about, how about Franco's? What's Tres Leches? I go... What's a leche? And he goes, milk. And I go, what's trace? And he goes, three. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Peace. Bye.